Hello everyone. Today we are going to see how to convert your PowerPoint presentation into an executable file without installing any additional software. And the title I have given it as standalone presentation because after you convert your PowerPoint presentation into an executable file, you can run your presentation on any Windows PC that doesn't even have Microsoft Office or Microsoft PowerPoint installed in it. In order to create a successful executable file, we need to follow an important single rule that is the DOS 8.3 file naming convention. It says the length of the name of your PowerPoint and the length of the name of any media files that you include in your PowerPoint should be less than or equal to 8 characters long. And the dot 3 denotes the extension of the file. So that's why it's called 8.3 file naming convention. And here are some of the examples. And let's go to the next slide in which I'm going to include a movie file. Go to insert menu, movies and sounds and select movie from file. And in my desktop, as you can see, I have a Windows Media Video, which is a video file. The length of the name of the file should be less than or equal to 8 characters long. So I'm going to rename it. I'm going to select that and say OK. So as soon as the video file gets included into the PowerPoint, PowerPoint will ask whether I want to start this movie automatically or when the mouse is clicked. I'm going to say automatically. And after that, I'm going to resize the video window. And that's fine. After that, I'm going to save the file. Again, you have to go with the DOS 8.3 file naming convention. So I have to make sure I give a name which is less than or equal to eight characters long. So I'm going to give it as my PPT. And I'm going to save it in the desktop itself. So after saving the file, go to file menu and select package for CD. In package for CD, click on copy to folder and give a folder name, my PPT. By default, this folder will get created under my documents. I'm going to save it under my desktop. Say select and say OK. So after doing this, Microsoft Office will create a folder named my PPT and it will create a bunch of files stored into that particular folder. So let's close this and minimize the PowerPoint and go to my desktop and see what's there in that particular folder. Here as you can see, Microsoft Office has created a bunch of file along with my PowerPoint file and it has also copied the media which I have included into my PowerPoint into this particular folder. So whatever media file that you include in your PowerPoint file will get copied into this particular folder. So right now we have created a folder with a bunch of files which can be used to create or convert our PowerPoint into an exe file. So let's go ahead and see how to do that. Click on start, click on run and type it as I express. Click on OK. And this will bring up the I express wizard, which is by default available in almost all versions of Microsoft Windows operating systems. I'm using Microsoft Windows XP Professional and this wizard is also available on uh, server 2003, 2008, Windows Vista, Windows 7 and even the latest one, Windows 8. So you can use this wizard to convert PowerPoint presentation into an executable file. So in the first window, I'm going to select the default one and say next. Package purpose, again the default one, next. Package title, you can give whatever you want. I'm going to give my PPT, next. Confirmation prompt, no prompt, next. And a license agreement, do not display a license, next. And in package files, click on add and include whatever files that are available in the folder which you have created earlier using the package for CD in Microsoft PowerPoint. So in my case, that folder is my PPT on the desktop. So I'm going to browse to the desktop into my PPT and select all the files and say open and then click on next and in install program to launch in the install program from the drop down list you can always see three files listed there and i'm going to select play.bat which is nothing but a batch file which was already created by microsoft powerpoint in my folder here so 
I have selected that file click on next and in show window select hidden next finish message no message next package name and options click on browse so this is where you create the exe file i want exe file on my desktop it's already selected so i'm going to give us my ppt.exe save and in the options make sure you put a tick mark right before hide file extraction progress animation from user click on next and configure restart select no restart next and in the save self extraction directive i'm going to select do not save click next and next again to create your package it's almost done and after the package is created you will get a message saying done click finish to have your exe file so after creating the exe you double click on it and check out it will automatically launch your presentation so there you have your standard on presentation with all the contents which we have included so this is how you create a presentation using microsoft powerpoint and then you convert that presentation into an executable file using the iexpress wizard in the windows operating system thanks for watching